He is a former San Jose police officer who was fired for allegedly touching himself inappropriately while on duty. Now he's in trouble again. This time, Matthew Dominguez is accused of assault with a deadly weapon. NBC Bears Damon Trujillo is in San Jose with a closer look for us. Matthew Dominguez remains in jail on more than $100,000 bail. And since he's been fired, court records show he's been no stranger to the justice system. This is police chief Tony Mata walking former officer Matthew Dominguez out of a police station after firing him last year. Dominguez had been accused of masturbating inside a victim's home while investigating a possible crime. Now he's facing new crimes. Police are charging him with assault with a deadly weapon, hit and run, and failure to yield to a police officer. Sources say the charges are connected to an incident at the intersections of Penitencia Creek and Capitol Avenue, and also on Almaden Road and Willow Street. We talked to Michael Leninger, a retired San Jose police officer, about the case. It's shocking in, uh, that this could actually happen with a former San Jose police officer, considering what he's accused of doing as an active San Jose police officer. Several women have also accused Dominguez of groping them while on and off duty, and court records show a series of accusations since then. Another woman filed a domestic violence restraining order against him last month. Also in October, San Jose police filed a gun violence restraining order against him, meaning they temporarily took away his guns. Now Leninger questions how Dominguez passed his background check to become a cop in the first place. Comprehensive background should dig deep. I mean, these people are going out with a badge and a gun. They have the ultimate authority in the United States. A former cop with a troubled history, once again on the wrong side of the law. In the South Bay, Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.